today's uh, Buddhavasarha, Asya Masasya Pratamaha Buddhavasarha. It's the first Wednesday of this month, Dinankaha is Shashtha, the 6th of July, Wednesday, is the Vyakana Bhagaha Samasa Vicharha. Let's just see uh, Mangalacharanam Ramo Rajamanis Sada Vijayate Ramam Ramesham Vijay Rame Navijata Nishachar Chamu Ramayata Smai Namaha Rama Nasti Parayanam Parataram Rama Siyada So Simyaham Rame Chitale Sada Bhotame Bhorama Mamudhara Rama Rame Ti Rame Ti Rame Rame Mano Rame Sahasanam Tatulyam Rama Nama Varanane Shri Rama Nama Varanana On Nama Iti Asa Shri Maheshwar Sutrani Ohi Gunya Rilrak E Ong Ai Aucha Aya Varak Lan Nyama Nga Na Nam Javaj Gadadash Jaba Gadadash Kapha Cha Cha Tha Cha Cha Tav Kapha Isha Sha Sar Hal Iti Maheshwar Sutrani Last time we, we were at the end of the class talking about the Shashti Tathpurusha Samasaha. On the book, we are on page uh, 125, Shashti Tathpurusha. Actually, in this book, he has combined a couple of uh, other things, which this part B and C of number 5 over here, they actually an apavada of Shashti Tathpurusha. So B and C over here, this was called the Ekadeshi Samasa. But they made the correction in the book. Please make the correction. I was... Uh, I think I incorrectly said that this might be okay. This Ekadeshi Samasa will not be correct. You want it as Ekadeshi Samasa. Ekadeshi Samasa. Because the Eka, the Samasa is not Ekadeshi. It is a Samasa involving something which has, you know, parts. We will we'll come to that. You know, you can, you, can, you can update this one in the book. Basically, you want it like this. If you, in the document I have it here, it is the, um, Ekadeshi Samasaha. This is the way you want it. So please change, make the correction in the book. should be Ekadeshi Samasaha. This is also Samasaha itself, Ekadeshi Samasaha. Now what is Ekadeshin is that which has which has parts to it. So, you know, this is, this is a compound involving something which has, you know, parts to it. So we'll, we'll come to that in a second. Anyway, this in the book right now, we're on page 125. And really the Shakshita Purusha part in the book is only 5A. In general, a noun, a genitive can form compound. So that sutram which we saw last time is 228. 228, which the sutram is very simple. It says shashti. Shashti is all what the sutram says. So if you remember, remember the adhikara of supsupa comes all through this section. So samarthena subanthena saha samasthyate chaturusha samaso bhavati. And then va. Because pakshe vakyam. You can also have a vakyam. We quickly go to Siddhanta. We did this last time. Siddhanta Kaumadi says Shashti is, you don't give any, no, there is no, there is no vritti, means spashtam. This is spashtam. So Shashti is Prathama Nidhishtam, that becomes, you know, Prathama Nidhishtam, Samasa Upasajanam, Upasajanam Puram, Rajnya Purusha, Raja Purusha. This is very straightforward. Shashti Tath Purusha is very straightforward. There's nothing really complicated. But the complication comes when you want to see when the Shashti does not compound. Which kind of shashtis don't compound? That is where we were doing at the end of last class. I should, I'd like to go over that one more time today, just to, you know, because we were, uh, it's a complicated uh, section. So here we are. We in the document, we are. Um, is Rajnya Purusha, Raj Purusha, is straightforward, Sutram is shashti. So that's the main shashti samasa vidayaka sutram. And the prakriya is very easy. You know, this is Prathama Nidhishtam is shashti. So that shashtyantam padam will get the puru nipataha, purva nipataha, it will go first. Of course, the rajan will get the padasanya by pratya lope pratya lakshanam suptingantam padam. So we'll get the nakar lopaha by nulapa pradipadikanta. So these are the you know simple things. Now we came to which shashtis don't compound. And that starts from 2 to 10. 2 to 10. Now what is a 2 to 9 in between doing over there? Because you know, we said 228 is Sutram Shashti. Now 229 is a counter exception. Yajakadi Vishya is a counter exception. Some of these Shashtis are being debarred from compounding down here. But, the, but this Yajakadi is a counter exception that some of the which are debarred, 
if they belong to the yajaka the ganaha they can compound shashti can compound with these shashti can yajaka the bhihi is is titya bhavachanam so that these can compound with the shashti even though they would have otherwise been prohibited by something down here something down here okay so uh, let us start the first term no nirdharane no nirdharane anuvritti goes from no nirdharane it goes down from there so that is the first nishedha when you have a nished sutram namely you have the no padam in there which means that do not do um now we quickly what is the difference between a nishedha and apavada always keep this to clear in your mind they are not the same thing nishedha simply means that one sutram prohibits another sutra that all it just stops the operation of another sutra that that is nishedha nishedha normally we involve, involve no coming in as a in the sutra itself anuvritti so that is nishedha when 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 one sutra prohibits another sutra from operating apavada means that one sutra applies in a sub domain of another sutra which is called uttargaha and that sub domain sutra is the apavada which gives an alternate operation it gives a different operation than what would have happened by the uttargaha that's what is called an exception or an apavada so there so nishedha and apavada are two different things nishedha does not give any alternate operation it only stops the application of the uttargaha the of, of some sutra shunchi uttargaha of some sutra operation is being stopped apavada will be operated in the sub domain of the uttargaha and will give some alternate operation right now we are talking about nishedha because it's no nirdharane no nirdharane okay let's look at what the again in the siddhanta kaumudi we are also we are in the section right here we are in number 704 the kaumudi no nirdharane so put in document everything we did this last time briefly at the end it says nirdharane ya shashti sana samasyate manushyanam kshatriha shuratamaha as i mentioned to you also this this topic of this the tatpurushah vidikrana tatpurushah is interconnected with the topic of vibhakti the vibhakti vidhanam so first we have to ask what is nirdharana shashti where was that where was that prescribed by panini of course any vibhakti vidhanam comes in 2.3 2.3 so from 231 starts the anabhite so if you understand what is uh, nirdharana shashti is that which comes over here is it a yatashya nirdharanam yatashya nirdharanam and it comes over here 2341 actually saptami and shashti are both described alternately by yatashya nirdharanam now what is nirdharanam we'll see in a second basically when you single out an item from a group for some quality that it has that's called nirdharanam nirdharanam means you you uh, identify an element from a group a uh, special element from the group due to some some something that it has special so that is means it is called uh, taking an item from a from a group so here we have manushyanam kshatriya shuratamaha so among the among the men kshatriya is the bravest among men so what will happen is there has been no compounding between manushyanam and kshatriya but then how do we have a compound like purushottamaha like purushanam uttamah purushottam of course chapter 15 of gita purushottam yoga naam panchadashodhyaya so when you chant chapter 15 of the gita next time think of this sutram na nirdharane and why did not apply in that situation we just said that when there is when we have nirdharana nirdharane shashti that does not compound obviously this shashti is not nirdharane now how what is nirdharane what is not nirdharane there is this famous vyakhyanam given by kayata acharya and kayata is the commentator on the mahabhashyam he comes way before the kaumudi or a lot of these things so he is very old um in fact thanks to kayata the mahabhashyam really became available to uh, and and legible to us because of kayata so uh, what kayata says is that he say yes man nirdharyate the group from which is the group from which something is singled out this is manushya over here manushyana yascha ekadesho nirdharyate the single item which is taken out in this case kshatriya and yascha nirdharana hetuh 
Why is the Kshatriya being singled out? Because of the fact that Shura Tamaha, Shura Tamaha. Eta Tritaya Sanyidhe. When, when these three, Eta Tritaya, Tritaya means group of three. When these three are present, Sanyidhane, sorry, Sanyidhane. So, Eta Tritaya Sanyidhane, Sati, Eva, Ayam Nishedhaha. This Nishedha of Nanidharane only comes when all three are present. And the Nirdhar Yamanam, the one which is being singled out, that will not come form with the Shashtyantam Padam. So when you say Purushanam Uttamaha, you know, you say you should say Purushanam Ramaha Uttamaha. Among men, Rama is the best. So if you say it like that, then between Purushanam and Ramaha there will be no compound. You cannot say Purusha Ramaha. Purusha Uttamaha can be said. It so can be said. So again one more time is that when three are present like that, Munishanam, Kshatriha, Ushura Tamaha, Nirdharya Manam Padam, which is Kshatriha, he will not compound, well he, she, it will not compound with the Shashtyanta Padam. That's what we meant by no Nirdharane, no Nirdharane. So Purusha Uttamaha is allowed because this is a Shashtamman, the Shashti, not Nirdharana Shashti. Nirdharana requires all these three to be there. So Nisheda only comes when you have all three. Nidharya Manam will not come from the Shashti and Tampadam. So that begins this section of Nisheda Shashti Tat Purushaha. So this is, this is simple enough. This is one specific Nisheda. Now comes the Vartikam on that, okay, which is going to be a, a, an important Vartikam. He says, Pratipada Vidhana Shashti Na Samasyate Iti Vachyam. So Katyana says that, that you know, any special Shashti, Pratipada Vidhana Shashti. So what is Pratipada Vidhanam? See all these technical terms I mentioned to many times in the class. One of the best places to look at these are in Professor Abhyankar's Dictionary of Sanskrit Grammar. What is Pratipada Vidhana? Pratipada Vidhanam is something which is specifically ordained, not generally. So Pratipada Vidhanam is expressed as st statement by a definite wording, Pratipada Vidhana Shashti. So, the injunction operation which is stating expressly the words or words for which it is meant. So, it's a specific operation. Generally, it, it is so. In, it is something which is which is in a more specific sense. Therefore, this, 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 and this. You know, than the general operation. So, here, if you look at the Shashti Vidhanam, again, these two, these two sections of the Samasa and the um, Samasa Vidhanam and Vibhakti Vidhanam are connected. So we have to understand them because now what is being said is that some kinds of shashtis, Pratipadi Vidhana Shashti will not compound. What, what is Pratipadi Vidhana? Specific, specific shashtis, you know, will not compound. So which are those now? So there we have, Tattva Bodhini says is that shashti sheshe iti vihaya anyena nyo, vid, nyo vidarthasya nyo vidarthasya ityadina vihita sarvaiva sarva eva shashti ityartaha so any shashti which requires a rule other than 2350 so 2350 is shashti sheshe that is not pratipada vidhana shashti that is that's say you know samanya shashti samanya shashti straight forward but now all these others for example this this nyo vidarthasya karane this is a specific condition that required for the Shashti to be used. And all these Shashtis, barring this one, so, so in short, I'm going to keep it simple right now, is that this Shashti, so I call it Vartikam, this Patipata Vidhana Shashti Na Samasyate, along with the Vyakshanam, the Shashti Shesha Iti Vihaya, Anyena Nyo Vidarthasya Ityadina Vihita Sadaveva Vid Shashti Ityartaha, which means that only Shashti Shesha will compound. The Shashti which can be which can be authorized by Shashti Sheshe, only that kind of Shashti will compound. So now it creates a situation where if a Shashti is, is, is prescribed by any of these other rules down here, it will not compound now. So that is what we are, we are saying. But we do want some of them to compound. We do want some of them to compound. So then comes another one. He says that Krudyoga Cha Shashti Samasyate Iti Vachyam. Now what is Krudyoga Shashti again? Krudyoga Shashti, this Shashti in 2365, it says Kattu Karmano Ho Kriti. Kattu Karmano Ho Kriti. So, it says that if you have the, uh, um, 
the karta or the karma, you know, of a dhatu, and then but that is the dhatu has a kut pratya with it. Then the karma will not take the dvitiya, it will take the shashti. For example, you say vishvasya, vishvasya karta, ishvaraha, vishvasya karta. So that word karta in that has the pratya trich, which is a kut kut pratyaha. Even though vishvam is a karma, so karma sanya is not lost. You have to remember one thing, that even though don't always equate karma sanya with dvitiya vibhakti, even though it is true, that karmani dvitiya, which is 2, 3, 2, is the utsargaha, every karma will not take dvitiya. For example, in the passive, in the passive when you say a simple example, ramaha sitam pashyati, sita ramena, dr ramena drishyate. The second sentence, sita is still the karma of the dhatu drish, but she has gone to prathamana because she, be because she become abhita. So, that in no matter how you compose a sentence, Rama will be the karta, Sita will be the karma. So those sanyas will not change. But Sita may not always have Dvitiya Vibhakti. So don't think that the karma will always be Dvitiya. Dvitiya so because this karma is Dvitiya is Uttarga, it has important condition of Anabhite. Same thing here when you say Vishwasya Karta, Vishwa is still the, the karma of the, of the Dhatu Kru the maker of the world, so that the world is being made. So, but because Sutram Kriti Karmano Ho Kriti, we say Vishwasya Karta, not Vishwam Karta, Vishwasya Karta. So now the Sutram is saying is that this Shashti should be allowed to compound. So one more time, from the, from we had the Sutram which was which said two 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 tens are said for us that no Nidharane. That had a vartikam on it, which is Pachipada Vidhana Shashtina Samasyate. So all the Shashtis which, which, were, which, were, which were prescribed by any of these rules except 2350 were debarred from compounding. So that would mean that even a Shashti which is prescribed by 2365 would be prohibited from compounding. But we do want that kind of Shashti to compound. So then what is it? There's the next, by the way, this whole thing is not in the book, okay? This entire thing is not in the Ant 1 book. But because the Ant in the book, we only have 5a. He has given simple, say, that he's only given the Sutram Shashti is only in the given book. So between 5a and 5b in the book, you want to put an important note over here, over here, that this 2210, no nirdharane, with the Vartikam, Patipada Vidhana Shashti na Samasthate, that is very important because that will tell you which shashtis don't compound. So if you just want to follow the book, you don't need any of this. But I think in order to do justice to this topic, we have to mention the fact that the important thing about shashti samasa is that the nishedha which comes there, which shashtis don't compound. So anyway, under 5a, you can just put a footnote, just like a note over here, you know, this is prakranam about the with the nanidharane and then the vartikam, prachipada vidhara, shashtina samasyate, etc. just something like that. Okay, so that's where we are in the book. This this entire thing is not in the book which we are using right now. Okay, so now by this vartikam, two three any the, shish, the shashti prescribed at two three sixty five would not compound, but we want that to compound. So look at what is what example is that? Idmasya vrashchanaha, idmasya vrashchanaha. So something which cuts. You know, it, it's like the wood, so firewood, I think, it must have Vrashchanaha. So that should always, that should also be allowed to compound. Now, so we get Idma Vrashchanaha, and the, so we can look at the word Idma, Idma, I think, means firewood, it must have Vrashchanaha. Um, okay, it must have Vrashchanaha, it must have Vrashchanaha, it must have Vrashchanaha, it must have Vrashchanaha. Fuel used for sacrifice, okay, firewood, okay. So firewood. So so that something which which is the cutter, the cutter of the firewood. So the way this is given because this is the this is the the karma of the the object of the cutting, the one that is being cut. So this this shashti would because two three sixty five is not of course different from two three fifty, but the vartikam which we have here, pratipati vidhana shashti na samasthate. This thing could not compound. But we want this to compound. So that's why the, the, another word, Krudyogacha Shashti Samasyate Iti Vacham. 
that's the next sutra, which is what we're doing now. So it says that, and how this word Rashtana is coming here, what Pratyaya has been, has been used over here, right? We want to make sure Krit Pratyaya is being used, right? And this is the, this is the karma of that. So it says, Vrishyate Chidyate Anenaiti Vrashchanaha. It is that by which something is cut, Kutharadihi, like an axe, etc., something like an axe. So Karane Lyut, Lyut Karane, 33, 117 karanadi karana yoshya pratya lyut of course lyut means the shakvata dite halantyam anubandha lope yu the yu takes the anaade shahaba yuvaranakau 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 the yu takes the anaade shahaba yuvaranakau now normally when we say lyut we say you know karanam you know darshanam etc we not talk about bhave so napum sake bhave taha lyutcha is what it says. So that is bhave. This napum sake lyut is bhave. Means just the karanam means doing. We can say it is. It is the act of doing. Just means doing. But comes karana adhikarana yoscha. That by which something is done, like an instrument, or adhikarana yoscha, like that in which on the basis of which something is done, there also is can take pratya. Lyut, and that doesn't that doesn't have to be napumsake. Like lekhani, sanjivani vidya, sanjivani, san sanjivyate anayad sanjivani vidya. So there are many many words like that. Lekhani likhyate anayati lekhani. So there are many words which can be formed by karanadi karana like rajadhani. There are all these words which can be formed by sutam karanadi karana yoscha. Anyway, that's not today's topic. The, the important thing is that Pratyalyut has been used in Karanarthe. So Karanadi Karana Yoscha. So that means that, some, that by which something is cut. So here the meaning is that this is an axe or something. So we do have, do, we do have a Krit Pratyaya. Huh? Of course, Adhikara Krit starts from, from to the thing. It starts from way back. So all these Adhikaras are important. Always have to know what Krit Pratyaya means. starts from where? From to the thing, from 3193. Right now we are using 33. Uh, 117, so this is a Kritpratya which has been used, there's a, there's a karma of that dhatu which is the uh, idhamam, so we get vrishyate chidyate anena iti vrishyavrashchanaha, so this should, this will allow, will be allowed to compound, we get idma vrashchanaha. One more side thing is that you at the samprasaranam here, samprasaranam vrishyate, vrishyate, samprasaranam, samprasaranam has taken place, vrishyate. And because here the, this, this is a passive form, which Pratya Yak has been used, Samprasaranam here has come in by 6116. 6116 mentions nine dhatus, Grahi, Jahi, Vyadhi, Vai, Vyadhi, Vashti, Vichati, Vrishchati. So that Samprasaranam which you are seeing in the in that Vidra Vakyam is by 6116. 6116 is dhatus Vrishcha, became Vrishchate. So that's six, anyway, this is all not today's topic, but I just want to mention it on the side, 6116, this samprasaranam, okay. So, so this shashti is allowed to compound. So this is, this is not the, the, the um, shashti sheshe, this krud yoga shashti can compound, okay. So that's now we are down to the third step now. First step was pratipada vidhana shashti na samachyate. Second, which is the vartikam on nanizharane, that's the nishedha. Second step was that Krit Yoga Shashti Samasthyate. So we got, we got the second step. Now the third step is coming that, but we don't want all of these to compound also. So now we go to the third step, is, it says that it's going to come over here. We'll just keep this one for a time being. It says, okay, let's take this one. Knet Ktena Cha Poojayam Pratyakta. So, well actually, you know what, let's take this one first. Tujaka Bhyam Kartari. Now, is that if the sapatya trichar akka has been used, then those should not be allowed to compound. Because I hope you are following this, is that we just said krit yoga shashti can compound. If that krit, krit pratya happens to be trichar akka, in kartari arthe, then that should again prevent it from compounding. If we can say apam srashta, srashta is in a srij, the creator of water, apam srashta. Now this was not very different from this one, which was the Idmashya Vrashchanaha. So, so this we, you know, we had, we had this one over here. So now why cannot this Shashti then compound? So the Krit Yoga Shashti is there. So, but the Pratyatrich has been used over here. 
so that shashti will not be allowed to compound will not be allowed to compound because the pratyatrich has been used for the reason so apam srashta will not come will not become apsrashta will not become like that vajras vajrasya bharata the holder of the indra indra will not become vajra bharata will not become like that because why not become let's take a three step process first thing said what pratipada vidhana shashti na samasyate nishedha krudyoga shashti cha samasyati vacham second step third step is that we have the pratyatrich over here which is specifically uh, been been debarred from compounding so that will not compound with the, the shashti so the shashti will not compound with the trijantam padam which is the trich has been used kartari so odanasya pakaha this also will we not being od sorry pachakaha pachakaha someone who cooks rice one who cooks rice so this is the pratya aka where are these coming from now where is trich and aka coming from this are coming from this is simple sutam nul trichau nul trichau nul trichau when parani starts parani starts the car of 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 the thing the first thing what call participles participles the first thing parani does is covers the kritya pratyaha so krityaha prak nulaha what's called the potential participles and they are used in the passive then comes the first thing after that parani says nul trichau pratya nul and trich can be used generally after any dhatu um as, as, as the first step and they will be used kartari now how how come the kritya have using in the passive and how come nul and trich is kartari because the default sutram is 3467 which says kartari krut says kartari krut so any any krut pratyaha will be normally kartari but then comes the apavada which says that tayoreva kritya sakkhanarthaha kritya pratyaha used only in the passive anyway that's not to raise topic the trace the important thing is that the null and trich can be used kartriya the so after any dhatu any dhatu they can be used so 31 it is 133 so that's what's been referred to in the sutra over here is trijaka abhyam kartri so this is referring to the sutra 31133 where where panini has prescribed the pratya null of course in the null the wu of kuchitu halantyam so anubandha lope wu and the wu takes the aka adesha by yorana kau 711 yorana kau the wu takes the aka adesha so one more time is that this tujaka abhyam kartari is kartartha tujaka abhyam shashtya na samasah shashtyantam will not compound with that we say vajrasya bharata this is a such has been used kartari and this is the karma of that the holder of that so we had the krudyoga shashti over here kartya karma no hakuti by 2365 and by the vartikam krudyoga shashti cha samasyate iti vach samasyate iti vacham this should have got allowed compounding but this is specifically debarred now because pratya trich has been used kartari same thing odanasya pakaha sorry pachakaha pachakah the pratya null has been used over here this will also not compound over here now comes another complication i mean this is a, this is a complicated topic i'm sorry but i'm trying to give you a brief idea about this you know now we go one more step deeper now now what it says is that the patyartha bhartru shabdasya tu yajakadi yajaka yajakatvaadi yajakatvaadi samasa what is what is happening over here now now what happens is that this word bhartru so also it is a pratya trich so that should have been not allowed to compound the shashtyantam padam tujaka abhyam kartari is kartari sending in trich but we do want it to compound in certain meanings so now we have to put in the yajakadi ganaha what is yajakadi we already saw that this sutram 229 yajakadi bhyascha is a counter exception counter exception the some of the shashtis which have been debarred from compounding they will be allowed to compound as a counter exception so we just saw that we have this sutram trijaka trijaka abhyam kartari something ending in a trich pratyaha or in the akar pratyaha which is of course null that um, the wu wu becomes akar that cannot compound with shashtyantam padam but we do want some of those to compound and those we put in the yajaka adiganaha that's how we see how pawning is structured this thing first he says shashti straight forward compound 
then he puts yajakadivyascha as a counter exception to what is coming below. Because some of these which have been devoured with these some of these guys, they will have to be put back. The word yajaka, same thing. Brahmananam yajakaha. One who performs rituals for Brahmanas, yajakaha. Now, by the sutram tujaka bhyam karsari, that should not have been allowed to compound. Just like odanasya pachakaha, Brahmananam yajakaha should not compound. But we do want it to compound. We means that's the usage in the language. So, Panini puts the gana, yajakadi gana. So, these will compound in spite of these prohibitions which come down here. Now, right now we look at the word bhartra. So, patya, patya ratha bhartra shabdasya. Bhartra comes in different meaning. Bhartra means one who bears, one who holds, one who supports, like one who kind of uh, sponsors, nourishes, you know. Bhartra, Bhru is to hold, Bhivarti. So, so it can come in many general meaning, it can come. Anybody who bears anything can be Bhartra. Like you say, like here we got it. So, Vajrasya Bharta, Indraha. So, one who bears, one who holds a thunderbolt, one who bears a thunderbolt. There was no compounding there. But, we do want to have a compounding when we, when we have, is this, when he says, Patyartha Bhartra Shabdasya, Samasa ishyate. So there should be a samasa with because this bhartu when it means when it means a lord or master, then that should be a lot of, not just somebody who bears that, but who is you know the swami of that. So he says bhu bhu bharata, bhu bharata, one who supports the earth, one who is the lord of the earth. So that will be allowed to compound. So this is the complication. These are how the exceptions, counter exceptions, you know, this this is. And so this yajakadi bhyascha is evishashchyantam samasyate trujaka bhyam kartariti asya prati prasavo yam prati prasavaha interesting word means counter exception prati prasavaha this is used by used by Pattoji in the in the Siddhanta Kaumadi these, these are all from the Siddhanta Kaumadi but this all this is copy of Siddhanta Kaumadi all this is Siddhanta Kaumadi this trujaka bhyam kartariti asya prati prasavaha ayam prati prasavaha means counter exception counter exception. This is Brahmana Yajakaha, Deva Poojakaha. So these are, this Yajakaha Poojakaha is so Devanam Poojakaha, Brahmananam Yajakaha. They would not have been compounding because of Sujaka Abhyam Kartari, but because they put specifically in the, in the Yajaka Adhikanaha, they'll be allowed to compound. So this is this is the complication below that. So we had these, these exceptions, counter exceptions. I think if you just keep in mind that this Shashti, generally any other Shashti besides Shashti Sheshe does not compound. And then there are some, some there is also, there's also a counter exception which is 229. That's all enough for the time being, you know, to, to keep in mind that. Um, okay, I think there's one more thing only that we want to want to mention here is this one which is the, which we in the last class we mentioned that is Sena Cha Poojayam. Sena Cha Poojayam. Now what is this one now? is that this is a shashti which is used pujayam. This pujayam refers to the sutram which is mati, bad, mati buddhi pujarte bhyascha. This kta pratyaha. Kta pratyaha is used vartamane. See normally kta pratyaha is used in the, is used to describe the sutram which, which is 32102. 32102, 32102 sutram, he says nishtha. And that nishtha sutram comes in the section comes in the section on the um, bhute, in the bhute adhikaraha. In the bhute adhikaraha, this section comes. Now, um, so that should be only used bhute. But sometimes this kta pratyaha is used vartamane, vartamane. And those come at the end of 3.2. Panini has a couple of rules over there, which says here, um, mita ktaha, and then mati buddhi pujate vyascha. Mati pujate bhyascha. So rajnya mataha. Mataha means like he is desired by the king. He is wanted by the kings. So the kings, you know, kind of favored by the kings. He is wanted by the kings. So he says rajnya buddhaha. Which is understood by the kings. Rajnya pujitaha. Respected by the king. He is honored by the kings. So so this, 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 in this. And then what happens is that with, with this, when the shasht, when this, the pratyaya is used vartamane like this in these in the in words with these meaning mati bad buddhi puja te vyascha then then that other padam will take shashti 
is by 2367, it says Rajnyam Mataha, not Rajabhi Mataha, not Rajabhi, because Krasya Chavartamane. Let's, let's first let's appreciate the Sutram 2367 for a second. See, 2367 comes like this. Says that the, see the, um, okay, let's start from 2365, uh, which is Kriti. Kriti. That so when you say no, Raja is the is the is the karta of that now. He is the one who is you know desiring somebody else. So he is a karta. The krut pratya has been new with pratyakta. The krut pratyaha it is because it is you know kruta thing. So it is a participle form. So by kartukarmano hokruti itself, we should have had the shashti vidhanam. But then what happened was that 2365 has a very important apavadaha, which is 2369. Again. Sorry, Nishedha, not Apavada, Nishedha, Nishedha. <coughs> no is coming over here. This Sutram says that no Lokam Vyaya Nishcha Kalar Tatram. No Lokam Vyaya Nishcha Kalar Tatram. So any these, so with these, um, so La U Uka Avyaya Nishcha Kalar Tatram. When these Pratyas are used, these Pratyas are used, then the, the karma of that will not take shashti. For example, we can say, you know, annam bhoktum michami, that bhoktum pratyattumun, that's an avyayam, because of, you know, because of krinmejantaha. You will, you will not say annasya bhoktum michami, you will say annam bhoktum michami. Even though kartya karmanoha kriti would have said that the, when you say bhoktum, and the annam is the karma of bhoktum, she have taken shashti, but 2369 stops the shashti. Because then for an avyam. Similarly, nishtha. We say, we say, ramaha vanam gataha. We will not say ramaha vanasya gataha. Vanam gataha. So this nishtha, the object of this nishtha and sampadam, that will not take shashti. Will not take shashti. So then, even this nishtha pratyaya. Nishtha is what? Taptavatu nishtha. 1126 nishtha. Taptavatu nishtha. So when, when this when this pratyakta was used in the sense of you know pujayam, even that would not be allowed to take shashti normally, because two three sixty nine specifically say nishtha pratyaya is used, then the then then the karta karma of that will not be will not take shashti will not take shashti. But then Panini does the same thing. He ahead of that he pushes sutam tasya vartamane. Let's look at 26769 for a second. These are very important rules. See, now we're getting into the vakti section, how the vaktis were, were, were prescribed, because they're important to us now. Because now we need to know that how the shashti was prescribed in order to decide whether that shashti will compound or not. That is the, that's why we have to go back and study the section about the vibhakti vidhanam. So 2369 is 2367. Therefore, we can go to 69 first. We we'll start. We can start on 69. What it says is that katikarmano uh, iti prapta shashti pratishidhyate pratish pratishedha la u uka avyaya nishtha kalartha trum iti ete sham prayoge. When these are being used, shashti bhaktir na bhavati. So this katikarmano ho which is coming that the shashti will not take place. Okay. So so there he gives the example when he say. Um, so Odanam Bhukta, some typos here, Odanam Bhuktavan. So Devadattin, look at this one, Devadattin Krutam. Devadattin, so Devadatta is the Karta here. Devadattin Krutam. So by the Kartukarana Yos Tritiya, Devadatta takes Tritiya, not Shashti here. Even though this Pratyakta is, is a Krut Pratyaya, and Devadatta is the Karta over here, so by 2365 Kartukarmano Krati, Devadatta will have taken will have taken shashti, but this sutra specifically says that when the nishtha pratyaya is used, do not use shashti. So Devadatta na krutam. Similarly, we should have had rajbhe pujitaha. We should not have rajnyam pujitaha. Then how will we get rajnyam purishaha pujitaha? Again, counter exception. Counter exception is that Panini puts his sutra two three sixty seven, where he specifically says that. Is that said 
निष्ठा कद सत्तनाम इति प्रतिषेध है प्राप्ते पुनः शक्ति विधियते so when this pratyaksha is used vartamane then that will be again allowed to take shashti is rajnya mataha rajnya buddha rajnya pujita so again three step process first thing is that kastu karmano hakriti authorized shashti to be used the krit pratya is used then the kastu karma that takes shashti second step 2369 2369 this came and said but when these pratyas are used specific ones then shashti should not be used and one of them was nishtha then now counter exception it says tasya ca vartamane but the pratyakta which is krit pratyaha which is nishtha pratyaha taktav tu nishtha when you use vartamane again shashti should be allowed become rajnya mataha so now let's with this background with this background let's come to the compound section now now we had if you if you go to a compounding section it comes there it says that krud yoga shashti samasyate so that rajnya mataha would now also be subject to compounding krud yoga shashti it is but we don't want it to compound we don't want to say so this comes tena cha puja ayam nishedha is this mati mati buddhi puja arte when you see even though pani says only puja ayam he means in these meanings okay this mati mati buddhi puja arte vyascha sutre vihitah yah tah tadantena shashti na samasyate na samasye misya rajnyam matah rajnyam buddha rajnyam pujitah we will not get a compound raj pujitah or we will not raj pujitah so he is somebody who is well regarded by the kings okay now this is vartamane vartamane but then comes the next step which is that how would this compound raj pujita can ever be formed yes it can be formed when the pratyakta is not used vartamane some somebody who was who was honored by the king that is not vartamane taha that can compound by the usual tritya tatpurusha tritya samasa can be done now so then we says so we can say because of kartikarane krita bahulam So which we already done in in previous classes. So we can we can we can make some compound like Rajnya Pujita. Somebody who was worshipped by the king. We can go back to our sutram here, which is the two one thirty two. I think it's two one thirty two. Kartu karne krita bahulam, and we can form a Tithya Tatpurusha because that is not Vartaman Ekta. That is Bhute. That is Bhute Ekta. Somebody who was honored by the king, not somebody who is well regarded by the king. now right now so this is how this is how this so that this this vartamanektaha which is used which is which is by the sutra mati buddhi puja te vyascha that will not come on so anyway i hope you got some flavor of this we start with sutra nanidharane that is the pani ni begins the nishedha from from 2 to 10 it's very important sutra and which is not in the again in our textbook right now and that is a vartikam on it which says patipada vidhana shashti na samasyate which means that any shashti which is which is uh prescribed by any other sutram except 2350 should not be allowed to compound but we do want some of them to compound specifically we want this one to compound which is the kathya karmano hakriti we get the example idmash idmasya vrashchanah idma vrashchanah we we got that but then we don't we don't want all of them to compound But here, then Pani specifically puts this rule over here, which says, you know, tuja ka abhyam kartari. So the pratya trich and akka, which is wo becomes akka. They are good pratyas. When they are used in kartari, then with their with their karma, they will not form a compound. We say, we say, vajrasya bharta will not become vajra bharta. Then we can then we can say, odana sya paacha ka will not become odana paacha ka. We 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 don't want that. But then again, further counter exception is we do want some of them to compound also. So that those are put back over here in the yajaka de bhyascha. So yajaka de if something yajaka de gana no matter what is going to compound. So specifically that has been put as a counter exception upon any. So so yajaka is ending in akka. So this sutam should have stopped it. Which allowed to compound. So Deva Puja kaha, Brahmana Yaj kaha, they can also compound. That's what we had. So that left one loose end over here, which we had is that the Tena Cha Puja Yam. So the this Kta which is used Puja Yam, the Pratyakta of this is a Kut Pratyaha. 
then with that the karta should have been able to compound because krud yoga shakti samasthyate i forgot to mention that krud yoga shakti samasthyate so that one should have compound we, we don't want it to compound so then then what what pani does is puts a specific sutra in this tena cha puja yam patyakta which is vartamane i mean use in this in that uh, in by this prescribed by this sutra which is 3 to uh, i think 188 it was yeah by this sutra that again will not compound so we we, we cannot say rajnyam pujita raja pujita but but if we, that same pratyakta is used bhute bhute vai sutra which is the 32102 sutra kon nishtha this is the bhute adhikara that will compound someone who is worshiped by the king someone who was honored by the king become raja pujita okay now again i have not we not done every sutra over here so please just keep this section in mind this section starting from 2 to 10 the nishedha and then all these you know exceptions counter exceptions coming over here yajaka is coming over here and then the tijaka vyam kat is coming over here tinach puja is coming over here there are also some other ones over here which we have not done I'll just to give you a flavor of this section and this is the complication of shashti samasa this one is easy there nothing special about the sutram shashti is straight forward but here is what it all comes down to this you know and let me tell you one more thing if after all of doing all of this if you see a shashti samasa being done in spite of all of this then what you say is finally you say i think i think even that kayata said in the, in the in his tika on the mahabhashyam is that then you you have to justify it by saying that that shashti was not a patpadi vidhana shashti because this 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 sutram 2350 over here is a very broad sutra shashti sheshe in all it depends on the vivaksha of the speaker in what meaning is he expressing the shashti so then we can always say the speaker did not intend to express the shashti in that specific meaning in one of the specific meanings down over here he want to explain just sambandha eva sambandha eva shashti because it was for sheshe like it just in connect some connection with that he is not intending to express a specific kind of meaning in that shashti so then if you see a compound which should have been stopped but has not been stopped if you can see shishta prayoga then what you say is that that was not that was not a shashti which patipati vidhana shashti was not there because the intention of the speaker was not to express that specific shashti his intention was only to express the samanya shashti va shashti sheshe so then you, that's how you finally justify saying that this was a compound for the speaker in vivaksha was not the patipati vidhana shashti va shashti sheshe so then we can compound it so that's the last result after doing all these exception counter exception we still you cannot stop the uh, samasa samasa still you can see the samasa there in spite of the nishedha then you justified by saying this was shashti sheshe that's what you say that okay in fact you, i'll just show in, in this you know, i didn't put in the document here but i didn't put everything in the document but if you see that in fact the bhattoji asked the question over here he asked that question somewhere here he says that uh, okay then he says see katham tarhi how come then घटानाम निर्मातु त्रिभुवन विधातु च कलहः इति सो हाउ डिड वी कंपाउंड त्रिभुवन विधातु हो विधात्र सत्य त्रिच बीन यूज्ड हियर वन हु ऑर्डेन द थ्री वर्ल्ड्स सो वी जस्ट सेड द त्रिजकाभ्याम कर्तरी इज सष्ठा न समासः देन हाउ कम दिस इज आई डोंट नो व्हाट दिस इज अ कोटेशन दिस इज अ कोटेशन फ्रॉम समवेयर ओके दिस इज शिष्ट प्रयोग आई डोंट नो हु आई डोंट नो हु दिस इज दिस आई एम नॉट श्योर but this is a quotation so this is a shishta prayoga so then he's asking is that how in the world did we finally end up allowing a compound tribhuvana vidha vidhata tribhuvid vidhatu is this shakti what tribhuvana vidhatu ho the tribhuvana vidhata compound how was it made we just went to this whole thing since this, this akar so trichana akar karte should not compound shishti antam then he says shesha shashtya samasa iti kayata so kayata says that we have to justify this So this shashti was the intention of the speaker was only to express the meaning sheshe not patipati vidhana was not here so shesha shashtya samasati kayata so this is this is another way out is that if some of this this, this nisheda is being done you still see a shashti then you can you can um, justify like this in fact this is the most complicated thing of this vidikran satpurusha compound is when the shashti is stopped when shashti samasa is stopped that is the most complicated thing of course there are some other small complications but this is the main complication okay so i'll leave you with that so this is chintaniyam 
let's go on today's topic which is now we are going to the book we are moving on to the next one which is point number b so this was just point number a footnote which is just did here so point number b says words expressing one part of a whole one part so that whole is the ek sheshi so ek the ek so sorry ek deshi i'm sorry ek deshi ek deshaha asya asti ti ek deshin so this ekadeshin pratipadikam is one that which has parts to it, which has parts to it. Ekadesha is one part, one part of something. So now that is the which are like a word like you know chakrin, balin. So balamasya stiti balin. So chakram asya siti chakrin. So this is a pratyaha, which is the pratya ini, which has not today's topic understanding how the word ekadeshin was formed. It was formed in the sense of in the this patya ini has been used sense of matup. So one who has that. So something which has a part to it, as well you can say parts to it, is is a ekadeshin. Sorry, ekadeshin. Ekadeshin. So the this patya ini was added to create the particum ekadeshin. This ini is coming in the atta ini thanao. Because this ini can only be added when you have pratipadikam ending in a raswakaraha. So ekadesha is ending in a raswakaraha. So that can be, we can add the patya ini in the sense of matup. And what is the sense of matup? This starts from here. Tadasya asti, one who has that. That's ekadeshin. No ekadeshi, again, made the question in the book, it should be ekadeshi samasa as a compound word here. Ekadeshi samasa. This is a samasaha which involves an ekadeshin. So this is not correct if you had because the ekadeshi is not the samasaha. It's not a samasa which has parts to it. Something which has parts to it is now going to be used in this compound. So it should be ekadeshi samasaha. Okay. So words expressing one part, that is the ekadeshaha, of a whole. The whole is the ekadeshi in which you can decline become ekadeshi, pratama ekavachanam can form a compound with a noun in the genitive singular expressing the whole. Now the first question you should ask is that, why can we not just, just not use Sutram Shashti? We already had, because Panini already gave us the authority to form the compound by 228. Why can we not just use that one? Because that is already given to us, Shashti. So this is not Pratipati Vidhana Shashti, so we don't have to worry about Nishedas over here. So why can we not use that? So we just look at an example over here. Purvam kāyasya. Now, first of all, which this this was not given the um, let's look at the sutra which Panini has given for this, which says this is two two one by the way. This two two one. Let's go back to Ashtadhyay for a second, know exactly where we are. Remember that in two dot one we this is the Karmadhara section, which starts from this Samanadi Karanena. So first of all, okay, let's do one minute review over here. From 2122 start that Purusha. Okay? Now then we got this Vitiya and we got Tritiya. It's all Vedikran Satpurusha compound. Vedikran Satpurusha compounds called the oblique case of Purusha compounds. So Dhitiya, Tritiya, then we had uh, Chaturthi, then we had Panchami Bhayena. And then finally took a break and then he mentioned the Samanadi Karanena. So this starts the Satpurusha compound. Satpurusha, I mean, sorry, Karmadharya compound. Karmadharyas are coming defined over here. Satpurusha, Samadhi Karana, Karmadharya. So when we are in Satpurusha section, we start from 2.112. And then when, when Panini starts the Samadhi Karanena, that's what you're talking about, Karmadharya compound. That's from here. So after Panchami, after, after uh, this, sorry, Saptami also is here. Saptami Shaundaihi. So Panini covers this Vitya, Satpurusha, Titya, Chaturthi, Panchami, and Saptami. Then he starts with Samadhi Karanena. And that goes to the end of 2.1. Then, then from 2 to 8, he's going to start Shashti. So between that end of 2.1 and 2 to 8, there, that is where Panini does this Ekadeshi Samasaha. Over here he starts. Okay? So I want to know where we are in Ashtadhyayi. So before starting Shashti, and of course Shashti Nisheda comes after that, and of course, at the end of all that, he has some special samasa, kukati pradeha, and upapada samasa, which will be a different chapter. So the karmadharya compound is a different chapter, is coming later on. Upapada samasa is coming later on. Kukati pradeha is coming, these are all later chapters. Okay, so these, these, are going, these are going to be coming later on. 
right now we only do doing the vidikran satpurusha vidikran satpurusha vidikranam means that you know the dvitiya titiya um, chaturthi panchami shashti saptami and that the up to us so the dvitiya titiya chaturthi panchami saptami all we did in 2.1 now in 2.28 shashti is going to start we already did that also but before that pani says this ekadeshi samasa the question is that why do we need this what is what is sutram say sutram says that because why can we not use the shashti itself come you say when you say when you say you know kayasya so purvam you say why is why why cannot we say you know why is because shashti is there also you look at the example given in the book it says purvam kayasya so you know shashti is already there so why cannot use the shashti tatrusha itself over there will you can get the answer right here look at the final answer purva kayaha if you use the shashti tatrusha over here what would have happened cuz this in the sutram shashti that shashti is prathama nirdishtam and we said many times by 1243 is prathama nirdishtam samasta upasarjanam so this kayasya would have got the the kaya would have got the upasarjana sanya upasarjanam purvam by 2230 the kaya would have got got the purna nipataha we will never get purva kaya as a final form if we make a shashti tatpurusha but this is the ishtam rupam this is the desire we want to get this form this form cannot be gobar shashti purusha because kaya se shashti and in the sutram shashti 228 shashti pratama nirdishtam so that kaya will get we say we say rajnya purusha the 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 term in the shashti gasta purna pataha become raja purusha then become purusha raja then become raja purusha this will become, become kaya pur not purva kaya so that is why you understand now that we need this sutra in fact this sutra is to stop the shashti that purusha otherwise you will end up with a form like you know kaya pur or something like that so we we don't we don't need that we want purva kaya so that is why panini so in fact in the book this you should really put draw a line over here draw a line over here this this b and c are apavada sparshti tatpurusha no shashti tatpurusha at all the apavada of this court called ekadeshi samasa this is apavada shashti tatpurusha i mean i guess he's put it in one way because there is there is a shashti over here but at at least the way that panini has put it that these are not considered shashti tatpurusha there apavada shashti tatpurusha what called ekadeshi samasa okay so now you understand fundamentally why we need this why we need this because the desired form the kaya is, is the uttar padam and if you make shashti tatpurusha shashti tatpurusha you become purva padam that's the fundamental problem here so let's look at what this point is say then he says that purva paradharottaram ekadeshina ekadeshinai ka adhikarane so only purva apara means like the earlier part or latter part adhara the lower part and the upper lower upper purva apara adhara uttara only these four only these four specific words purva apara adhara uttara uttaram this is the prathama look at now this is the prathama nirdishtam it's the samahara dvandva it's the prathama nirdishtam so now that will get the upasajana sanya upasajanam purvam so in this ekadeshi samasaha this is going to get the purnipata so purva apara adhara uttaram ekadeshina will come on with something which has a part to it but ekadhikarane so it should have something which is adhikarana it should be one item which has parts should not many items the adhikarana should be ekadhikarane let's look at the vritti says that avayavina avayav avayava so avayava avayavina 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 says that avayavina means that one which has the avayavin avayavi avayavi is again that which has parts so, so this is the this is the this is the uh, translation of ekadeshina so ekadeshina is avayavina 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 sah with that purvadaya purvadaya means these four purva par adhar uttara samasyante so this is the so this is pratimana drishtam they are going to go first now but what is the condition ekatv sankhya vishishtashched avayavi this avayavi this thing which is the ekadeshi that which has parts should have this property of ekatv sankhya vishishtah it should be one 
whole item, one item, we say body, one body, which has upper part, lower part, you know, that kind. So not many, many which has, you know, upper low. You have one, one, one single item. So you could ekatta sankhya vishishtas chidavayavihi, avayavi. So one more time, avayavi nasaha. So along with something which has part, which should be a single item. Purva deha chatvaraha. These four over here. Samas, samasyante. It says shashti samasapavadaha. This is, will, will be called a tattur samasa. This is definitely will be tattur samasaha. We are in section tattur shaha. But this is not shashti tattur shaha. Shashti samasapavadaha. So purvam kaya is the purva kaya. This is the, 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 the prakriya is straightforward. The purva plus su kaya plus myas in the sutram 2 to 1 authorizes to form this compound purva paradhor purva paradharo taram ekadeshina ekadhik karane so in that sutram again this purva parad purva paradharo purva paradharo purva paradharo taram is the prathamanadishtam purva paradharo taram is prathamanadishtam and that is the samahar dvandva over there purva paradharo taram and that will take the upusana sanya by Pratamanadishtam samasa upasajanam upasajanam purvam which is what these two are over here so then we get and of course the same thing as usual samasascha supodhara pradvitika yoho we get purvakaya now also here we remember one thing tatpurusha compound means the lingam will be at the uttarapadam at the uttarapadam so paraval lingam dvandva tatpurusha yoho paraval lingam dvandva tatpurusha yoho so because kaya will be masculine purvakaya just decline it like that. So that's what we got. Similarly, aparakaya, adharakaya, uttarakaya, and then ekadeshinaitikim. Now this compounding can only be done with that item which has the parts to it, not with something else. Just take this one. Puram nabhehe kayasya. So it is the part of the body which is earlier to the navel, before the navel part of the body before the navel. Now, can we compound nabhi with puram? We can we compound nabhi with puram? Because puram is there. What is the condition is sutram? Because puram is, is, is there. We have that, right? And ekadikarane also is there. So this is there. But this one is not satisfied. Avayavina, ekadeshina. This, this nabhi is not the ekadeshin. The nabhi doesn't have the parts to it. Not the ekadeshini. Is not the one which has parts to it. It is only the avadi, the limit of, from which the poor, the earlier part is mentioned, is, is, is measured. So this compound, you cannot form a compound with purva and nabhi, because nabhi is not the ekadeshini. It's not the ekadeshini. She cannot compound. Only kaya is the ekadeshini, which has the part. So ekadeshina tikim puram nabhi he kaya Now, you could, you could still form a compound between kaya and pura. So you can say nabha pura, so, so pura kaya, nabhe pura kaya. That, that may be allowed. So that doesn't, is not, is not stopping that. So nabhe pura kaya. He says, uh, you know, Tattabodhi says this, kaya na tu samasaha syadeva. With kaya, you still form the compound. It says, pura kaya nabhe he. Pura kaya nabhe he. So that, that can be formed, but nabhi cannot come on puram because that's not the ekadeshi. That's not the one which has part. It only gives the limit from which it measured the earlier part. Okay. It says ekadhi karana etikyam. Purva chhatrana is the earlier one of many students. Now this chhatrana is, is not the ekatva sankhya vishishtaha avayavi. It has avayavi. He has parts too. There are, there are many students, so there are this, this group of students has has parts to it, but it's not ekadikarana. So this is that one is there are many of these students. So this also will not compound. You cannot say Purva Chhatraha. Purva Chhatraha will not happen like that. Okay. So that's the two thing. Now that was two two one. So there's going to be one more little kind of a Vyakshanam on this which you will come back to uh, okay. We'll come back to it. There's going to be one more thing over here which we'll come back later. Let's this let's do this much for the time being. So this is what we got that only these four can compound for time being Purva Paradharotar Puru Purva Paradharotaram Ekadeshina Ekadi Karane. So we got that's the condition here was you should have an Ekadeshi, something which has part, it 
should be ekatva sanya vishishtaha that should be there then then one of these four can compound with that this is apavada vishishti tat purushaha if it is shashi tat purushaha you will not get purva as the purva padam okay now comes the this so that was in the book part b but we only got purva apara adhara uttara now what about this madhya and ardha in the book because we didn't we didn't talk about that he only gave this for purva apara adhara uttara okay so let's talk about ardha okay now that one is the next sutra is this simple sutram ardham napunsakam ardham napunsakam ardham nap now what does this mean ardham napunsakam what is the meaning of this of course ardham is pratama nidishtam so that can compound and we can include ekadeshina ekadhi so this this anuvritti is coming down here ekadeshina ekadhi karane so that so that those two prior conditions are still coming down that something should be having parts should be one single unit one 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 big item which has parts to it not many many items so those two are coming down what is napunsakam now what's the meaning of that now napunsakam let's go to the vyakshana what it means so ardham has to be napunsakam to compound like this is what it means now when is ardham napunsakam when it is when it is not so there it is we can look over here it says um samaushavachi that is the that's the key over here that this ardham can mean exactly half when ardham means exactly half it is only napunsakam otherwise it doesn't have to be so it says samaushavachi ardha shabdo nityam klibe sa avayavena sah samasyate again same prior condition ekat संख्यादी अवयवी pipali not pipali 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 is a pepper so pipal pipalyaha ardham pipalyaha ardham half exactly half of pepper so that is pipalyaha ardham you also same problem is that this pipalyaha is shashti shashti is dishtam so if you just make shashti tat purusha with this this would get the this will get the upasthana sanya it would have got the got the purunipata have it given the wrong form you want the form or the wait wait i'm saying is there is there a give me one second did i have a typo here um uh, people 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 ardham napunsakam so it is uh, people as so this is a typo i'm sorry i was right so is people people the so people ya people people ya so it is people not that's the typo ah people so this is the compound now there's one complication coming over here now so pipalya pipali pipalya now what's the complication here now okay let's look at this but let's form the compound first of all it says ardha su pipali nyas so this is the ardham napunsakam we do have the word ardha napunsakam ka nityam klibe which is samao shavachi exactly half then of course we ardham is the prathamanadishtam samas upasujanam upasujanam purvam then supluk as usual prajapadika sanya supluk as before ardha pippali and then we have to make paraval lingam vandana tatpurushayoho this is the stilinga shabda ekam ardha pippali that power hanni abhyo it's of the kara now what happens is that let's look at this one here if we take you know prathama vibhakti over here pippalyaha ardham then it become uh, this ardham in stick prathama with ardham come people ardham is napunsakam here people yaha ardham people it is prathama here people ardha people he says when we say 
people yeah are the dvitiya are the people im dvitiya it becomes then people yeah ardhena ardhena people yeah dvitiya becomes are the people yeah people yeah like nadya um then ardhaya people yeah so why are we doing this we'll tell you in a second why are we doing this okay why are we doing it like that because this this could have some implication for us ardha pippalyai chaturthi panchami ardha pippalyaha ardha pippalyaha artip so then it says pippalyaha ardhasya ardha pippalyaha ardhe saptami pippalyaha ardha pippalyam so why did we do this because there is a sutra which part pani has it says ek vibhakti cha purna paate which means that ek vibhakti something which maintains the same vibhakti in the vigraha vakyam when the other padam changes the vibhakti that's what is called ek vibhakti so in this in this when we, when the ardham becomes ardham ardena ardaya ardhat ardhasya ardhe so when we look at sutram later this we can see with this sutram is going to come to for us later okay so this is we are to taking up here because right now this create this is going to create a problem for us right now this sutra is going to create a problem for us ek vibhakti cha purnipate look at the number of this sutra it is 1244 it's the next sutra after the one which you always so you, yes sir we have a question there yes uh, how does the the vibhakti of the puro pada affect the vibhakti of the whole samasa No, what i'm saying is that this is the uh, see people yeah so when you say half of half of a half of a pepper right is a prathama will be are the people lee because you're talking about prathama bhakti the, the entire thing is it is in prathama bhakti we says by half of pepper with half of pepper when you make a samastam padam you have to sit here with that only right so people yeah are they now with half of a pepper when you make the sama samastam padam are the people lee you have to only say as the people ya yeah, sitya should be used with that with half of a pepper similarly you know so so so, in, um, in, in, so the, the way the vigraha vakya okay, so, yeah, go ahead so, so the what is the uh, alokic vigraha vakya be are they so so you say this is this is alokic vigraha vakya this is this is the alokic oh alokic no alokic vigraha vakya means for the samasa is only this one right samasa is yeah. only this So but final, the samasa will be only ardha pippali, right? Ardha pippali only. But yeah. Say, but ardha pippali takes various vibhaktis. You try, yeah. you put after after ardha pippali, you put various vibhaktis, pratama, dvitiya, sitya. And yes. In the, in the laukika vigraha vakyam, what happens? You know. So when 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 one keeps on changing, other one is a constant, right? Then then that the constant one. will also get the upasana sanya by 1 244 ek vakti cha purnipate but that that sanya cannot be used for doing purnipatah so 1 244 is saying that if you apply various various vibhaktis to the samastam padam so we got the samasa ek pippali so when we take a pippali prathama dvitiya titiya chaturthi and make the laukika vigraha vakyam and see what all happens to it over there what all happens over there and if something is maintaining the same vibhakti in the laukika vidra vakyam irrespective of the vibhakti other one changing of course changing depending on the samasta punish vibhaktis then that ek vibhakti niyat vibhakti niyat vibhakti means which maintain the same constant vibhakti is ek means in this system is constant which means the constant vibhakti one which is which has constant vibhakti then that also qualifies sanya upasajanam but that upasana sanya cannot be used for purnipate that doesn't seem to be a problem for us does it even if people he gets upasana sanya which is okay let it get it that upasana sanya cannot be used for purpose of purnipate so then what's the problem then then what's the problem because if this this upasana sanya people he got on the basis of it being niyat vibhakti then But that upasana sanya cannot. Let me just first go to Ashtadhyay just to make sure where we are. Okay, one second, just to make sure what we are talking about. See, we have been using one, two, forty-three all the time. So we have been using this one. Pratama nidristam samasa prajnam. Okay, this is the next sutra. Eka vibhakti cha apurnipate, which means something which maintains a vibhakti as a constant in the laukika vigraha vakyam when the other padam. 
we'll take all the various vibhaktis depending on the vibhakti coming on from the samastapadam then that which is maintaining the same vibhakti which is which works whose work is constant that will also qualify cha that also can qualify for upasana sanya but that upasana sanya which is coming from 1 to 44 cannot invoke 2 to 30 so you cannot use 2 to 30 which is the upasana purvam if something got the upasana sanya by 1 to 44 so one more time 1 to 43 and 1 to 44 are both giving the sanya upasajanam but there is a limitation there is a limitation on the upasana sanya which is given by 1 to 44 which says that the upasana sanya which comes on the basis of something maintaining a vivakti which is constant in the lokika viravakyam that upasana sanya cannot be used in order to make it as a purnipataha. So basically this upasana sanya 1 to 44 cannot be used to apply 2 to 30. So what we have right now is that we have we have this pipalyaha, this 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 shashti bhakti is staying constant in the vigraha vakyam. When we are applying virus bhakti to samastam padam, what's happening is that only this ardham is changing. Ardham, ardhena, ardhaya, ardhat. So now people starts qualifying for a upasana sanya. But so far this seems to be no problem because that sanya cannot be used in order to give it the status of the purnipataha. So which we are which we are fine. So ardha will still remain as purnipataha. See ardha already has upasana sanya, already it has. Because the sutram was ardham napunsakam. Don't forget that. This word ardham has the upasana sanya already by 1 to 43. Because of prasama nidhishtam so Ardha already has Upasana Sanya by 1 to 43 and therefore it can comfortably get the Purnipata by 2 to 30 Upasana Purva. But now what's happening is that Pippali is also getting Upasana Sanya now. But we are still okay because that cannot be used to give Purnipata. But then what's the problem then? What is the problem of Pippali getting the Upasana Sanya then? What's the problem? The problem is that there is a Sutra which says that Go striyoho upasarjanasya. If you have the word go, or if you have a feminine word, which is sripatya at the end, then that will become rasvaha. So one more time, something if it has upasarjana sanya, if either it is, let's look at one to, let's look at the vritti of one to forty eight for a second. One to forty eight, one to forty eight. Go striyoho upasarjanasya. Now that would have come here and created a problem for us. We would have started getting a rasva adeshaha, become become ardha pippali. So that would, that's the problem. Is that there's no problem with regard to purnipata with pippali getting the upasana sanya by one two forty four. But the problem is that 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 upasana sanya will now will now will now invoke this one. Goes to your upasana sanya. Is pradipadikanta sanya when something at the end of a pradipadikam has is either the the go shabdaha or something which is has a sri pratyaha at it and it has upasana sanya then becomes it becomes um rasvadeshaha so go upasajanasya sri pratyantasya upasajanasyati so tabhyam pradipadikasya tadanta tadanta vidhi upasajana go shabdantasya so right now Pippali has got Upasana Sanya by 1 to 44. So Upasajana Go Shabda Antasya and Upasajana, so this one, Upasajana Sri Pratya Antasya Cha Pratipadikasya Raswa Bhavati Alonchasya. So by this Upasana Sanya which, which Pippali got, you have to make it into Raswa Adesha which we don't want. So I hope you follow some of this is that the Ardha already has Upasana Sanya 1 to 43. No problem there. And Ardha got Purnipata by 2 to 30, which is um, Pusajanam Puram. Everything is fine. But by this Sutra 1 to 44, which is Ekavakti Cha Purnipate, Pippali gets to Pusajanam Sanya now. And there also is no problem so far. So that cannot be used to make the Purnipataha. But that kicks off the Sutra, goes through your Pusajanasya. Now we are stuck with the Pippali getting the Rasva Desha. We're going to use this in later lesson. This is going to come in later lessons. Okay, this is not this lesson's topic really. In fact, in the book right now, we don't need this because he's not given this kind of example. So, if you just want to follow the book, you don't.
don't you don't need this one right now. But Siddhanta Kaumud is mentioned, so I want to mention this to you. Now what do we do now? Kim Kartavyam. Samadhanam Kratam Bhavet. How do we just how do we escape the Raswa Desha of Pippalina? How do we how do you escape that? Well, thank God there's a Vartikam for this, which is that this Ekavakti Chapur Nipate cannot be used for Shashtyanta Vachanam. So Ekavaktau a Shashtyanta Vachanam. So which means that this if something has a Shashti at the end is constant, that will not be then that one which will not qualify for one to forty four. So what it says is that and in fact specifically means the ekadeshi samasa only. So ekadeshi samasa vishayako ayam upasajana sanya nishedhaha. So when you have this ekadeshi samasa like this, then that that ekadeshin which is the pipali, which, which would have started qualifying upasajana sanya by one two forty four will not get it because of vartikam. Because of the vartikam is ekavibhaktau ashashtyanta vachanam. So that ekavibhakti should not be shashtyanta. In fact, that specifically means for the ekadeshi samasaha that 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 avayavi, that ekadeshi will not be upasajana sanya. So therefore, we don't have to worry about this one goes through upasajana sanya. This whole discussion of this, 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 this is going to come later. This is, this is a useful concept, by the way. We have to know this sutra. Ekavibhakti cha purnipate. But the only reason we brought this in right now, which is not in the Antoine book, is because people would have started getting the Rasva de Shaha by 1248, which we, which, is, which we didn't want. So we have to somehow stop the Upasajana Sanya for this. It has a Niyati Vakti. Niyati Vakti means it is constant Vakti, it's constant. But the Vartikam has the Sauron says that this, if that Vibhakti is a Shashti, and specifically it means that for the Ekadashi Samasaha, then we then we get the upasana nishedha. So then we not so with finally the answer is same are the people is the answer shakti samasa pavadaha. So one more time is samao shavachi or the shabdaha. Nityam klibe. When it is meant that this is this this one which is always in the neuter, that will compound which avayavina saha anurtyam prayas sutram and the same condition ekatva sankhya vishta sheda vayavi. Now why we say why do we say that it should be only the Klebe Itikim Gramartaha, so a part of the village? This is not Samao Shavachi. So this is this is this is not Samao Shavachi Klebe Shab. This is another one. Then Dravya Ikya Eva. Dravya Ikya Eva. Should be again, should be one. Avayavi should be should be one item. See, Ardham Pippali Nam. This will not compound. Even though Ardham is Samao Shavachi, it is half, exactly half, but of many peppers, Pippalina. This also will not compound. And we will see of that, you know, uh, Ekadikarane. This is coming from the prior sutra over here, Ekadikarane. Okay, so that is in the book given by this Ardham. Now, what about Madhya now? <laughs> what do we do with that? So we got by, by these, 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 these two rules, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2. We have we have got up to this point. We got these four. We got the uh, purva, apara, uh, adharottara. That's what we got. And then I'm sorry, I'm the wrong page. Uh, two to one. So two to one, we got those four. And then by two to two, we got ardham with a condition. It has to be uh, klevam, uh, ardham napun sakam. So that we got that also. But then no mention of madhya. There's no mention of only pura paradharottara, pura paradharottara, pura paradottara, pura paradottara, and then uh, ardham napun sakam, pura paradottara, pura paradottara, and then ardham. Okay, what do we do madhyam then? So now let's say let's go down a document. What we want to form the um, like we say ardharatraha, midnight, midnight. Now how do we justify that? Let's go down for one second. Let's leave this for time being. Let's come down over here. And there, I think I put the footnote over here. OK. Now, there is there is a comment on this sutra. Sarvo sarvaha api ekadeshaha anna samasthate. So what this means is that when you have the ahan, then, then it doesn't have to be only the purva, upper, other, uttara. Any any which is the uh, ekadesha, any part of the day, 
can compound. How do we get this meaning? How do we figure this out? Because Panini has a sutra in the 6.3 section where he says that Sankhya vi saya purvasya andhasya ahan anyatarasyam nyau. Anyway, this is not today's topic. So what Audrey says is that this ahan can compound with the word vi saya. Now, how could it compound? Because this is going to be a ekadeshi samasaha. But ekadeshi samasaha was only authorized for those five, not for this, not for this uh, saya, etc. So how how are we going to get that? So in that in that actually the Vyakshanam, the Kashika says is that ekadeshi um, samasaha purva adibhya anyasya api bhavati. So other than those purva etc. Four, etad eva visaya purvasya anasya grahanam nyapakam tena madhyam madhyanaha ityapi bhavati so madhyanaha so now so that is so this can be that so there is the there is this vyakshanam sarva sarvaha api ekadeshaha any part not only the you know the purva apara dharotar any part anha samasyate but only with ahan anha samasyate and because we get madhyanaha we can get this compound but now we need some others also. Then how we stuck with Madhya Ratraha? Now how do we do that now? So then we extend the we extend this Nyapakam even further. Is that it says Kechitu, some people say, Sarvapi Eka Deshaha Kalena Samasyate, Natu Anneva. So any any which is the which is anything which is the unit of time that can compound with any or which means a part of that unit of time. So nyapakasya samanya pekshatva. So this is a samanya nyapaka. So not only ahan. Ahan was clearly because Panini said, you know, vi saya purva. So then this is, you know, so saya, saya, so sayana. So that means evening, evening part. So it's evening part. So now that we, we can include that, okay, then what Panini means is that ahan can come up with any part of the day. Okay, we got that. But we, that's, you know, help us to form the word madhyaratra middle part because Madhya is not the Pura Paradavottara, not Ardhaiti. So how Ardharatra we can do exactly half. But this one you cannot do. So then we have to extend extend the nyapakam that the nyakapum nyapakam is on, not only for ahan, for, for any kala vachi So kalena samasyate natu anhaiva. But still kalena only. Only kalena. So Madhya Ratraha we can form. This is what this is coming in the exercise by the way. It's coming in the homework. In the homework, we will derive this form Madhyarata. It's coming in the homework. So that time we'll have to invoke this Nyapakam and we have to extend that a little bit more to not only allow a hun to compound with other words except other than Pura Pradhotara, you know, which can be compounded. We have to get any Avayavi um, Ekadeshi, which is a unit of time, like day, night, etc. You know, so that can compound with with any word which is which is an ekadesha, not only the pura par etc. So that is what you have put in the book. In the book, this madhya, this has to. So first of all, the pura par adharotara, uh, pura par adharotara, pura par adharotara. That will go to come pura par adharotara will come from two to one. Ardham the is two to two, two, and this madhya is only with kalena, and that is going to be a nyapakam based on uh, this six three one one six three one one zero. 6110 and as Ekadeshi So that completes this part of it. Now he there's one more one more part to it, which is this one, which he says that the we have seen expressions such as maso jatasya tasya. Someone who was born a month ago. And compounding is also possible in such cases. And the word noting the time remains for this is also the same thing. The question is why not just use the sutram shashti to form the compound here also? Same problem. The jatasya is the shashti shashtyantam padam. If we just do to, to, to the sutram shashti, then we'll get shashti shashtyantam padam, we'll get upasana sanya, that will get the purunipataha, purna purunipataha. So we don't want that. So this is also an apavadaha for the shashti samasaha. So this this sutram is two two five. Two two five. So what does two two five say? Let's look at two two five for a second. Two two five. It says kalaha. So Kalavachinaha Shabdaha. By saying Kalaha doesn't mean the word Kala, which means it means 
the words which denote a unit of time, some 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 measure of time. Then parimanina. So parimanin, pariman. Let's look at the parimana which we measure, which is with 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 the word which we measure, you know. So uh let's say so uh parimanin that so let's look at the look at the reaction of that. Uh this is the one over here, I will be a bit ahead. Okay. So it says that Parichedya Vachina Subantena Saha Kalaha Samasyante. So this is the so Maso Jatasya Masa Jataha. Someone who's been born only only a month has passed since this person has been born. So this is only one who's born who's basically one month old. One month old is Masa Jataha. Masa Jataha. So here this this Masaha is this this Kalaha. It is Kalavachi. And then Jatasya, that is the that is the Parichedya Vachina. So this how long has he been has he been has he been born? So that is being measured. He is the one being measured by this Kala. Actually his action is being measured, the action of being born is being measured. Not that he is being measured like height and length like that, but the time, the time for which he has been born is being measured. So this is the one he's the one Parichedya Vachina, Parichedya Vachi. That which is being which is to be measured is the one the person who's been born. So with that with that it will form a compound. So Kalaha is Prasamanadrishtam. So Samasupajanam. So if you just take in this Jatasya Masaha, then we should we should take Shashita Purusha would have been a problem. Jata would have come first. That's why we need this sutram, which is that these uh, units of time which 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 can compound with something which is being measured by the unit of time. So that they, they can compound. So this, so I mean, the prakriya is straightforward. Masa plus two, jata plus nyasa, as usual. Uh, this is the type it should be two two five. Okay, it's two two five, not two two one. Two two five. So kala ha, parimanina, parimana. That which is parimanin. That which has a parimana. Pariman is measurement. That which is something which has a measurement which is being measured. Pariched javachina. So that's the jata ha. Mm, so so by two to five again usual thing. Pasamanisham samasa pasidam pasidam purvam. We get and supluk after that. So masa jataha and paraval lingam nundana satpurusha yoho. Assume you're talking about someone like devadattaha. This is an adjective. So masa jataha devadattaha. So masa jata gauri. You can say masa jatam mudyanam. This has been this has been created only for a month month old something like that. So we can we can make it like that. Now. Um, Maybe that may not, not be a good example. I think jata means maybe birth. Anyway, this this is this is an adjective, so it will be paravalingam depending on who is qualifying. So so that is what we get two two four twenty six paravalingam the dhanu So this is this is a special kind of the ekadeshita, which is this is this is the this is something which is uh, which is uh, being measured by the unit of the unit of time. This can also compound in this manner. Compound. This is in the book given by this one. This number C. So Shishan likes. I'm sorry. I didn't just, the Ekadeshi was finished by this. This is this is something else. Not Ekadeshi Samasa. Ekadeshi was these two, when we had this uh, two to one, two to two. That was the Ekadeshi Samasa. This is Shashti Apavada, but this is this is not the Ekadeshi Samasa. For Ekadeshi Anuvritti, we check that only goes from you know two to one. From two to one, it goes down to. Ekadeshina is two, two, one, two, three. Only these three are Ekadeshi Samasas. We have looked at, we only did two of those, but only these three here are Ekadeshi Samasa. Out of which, 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 which we took two of them. This is not Ekadeshi Samasa, but this is Apavada for Shashti also. The book says that, yes, that so compound is allowed in the cases like Masa Jata, Varsha Mrataha, one who's been uh, passed away a year ago. Um, he was born a month ago. So this is two, two, five. Two, two, five. Which is Kalaha Parimanina. Okay. Now the last one, Saptimitat Purushaha. So that this is actually nothing very complicated with this one. Um, we have to go back to two dot one again. Just remember that we just said that Panini covered the he talked about Dvitiya, Titiya, Chaturthi, Panchami and Saptamitat Purushaha in two dot one itself. But because we took Shashti in between, we had to go to two dot two. And start with Chashti and everything like that. But now we are going back to Saptami now. So, uh, yes. 
Yes. Yeah. Sudeshi, I have a I have a question. I have a quick question about this uh, Ekadeshi Samasa. Yes, sir. Uh, so Samasa itself is optional. So when we say Masa Jataha Devadattaha, for example. No, no, wait, wait. No, 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 wait, wait a minute. This is not Ekadeshi Samasa. This is not Ekadeshi. Ekadeshi is only yes, two, one, two, one, two. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, two. Yes, yes. This is not Ekadeshi Samasa. Only yes, this is yes. Ekadeshi Samasa. Yes. Sir. Okay. Okay. So, 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 for example, masa this masa ja ma uh, masa jataha devadattaha. When we remove the samasa, the shasti is lost, right? So, so we say, so we say, uh, so jatasya masa. So, so devadat devadatasya jatasya masa. Okay. Okay. So, but so, we'll never be able to make it like uh, devadattaha masa jataha devadattaha, will we? No, because then you know, because look at look at the prior one also. We have the same problem there also, right? We yes, look yes. at the prior one also. Prior one also same problem. Yeah, so we can say you know, pippalyaha ardham, ardha pippali. This looks like more like a puro pada pradana. So, um, is it? Ardha pippali, but the pra still the pradana is the pippali, isn't it? Ah, yeah. uh, so masa jata ha, yeah. So yeah, the uh, yeah, you could, you know, we need to check that one. That's a good point you're making. Where is the Pradhanam here now? See, Pradhanam, is it, is it with the, with the Pippali or the, or the other, or the Pippali? Or the Pippali. If, if you give me a quick second, you know, in fact, in the beginning itself, when uh, talk about the Pura Pradhanaha, Uttar Pradhanaha, you know, sometimes these things don't work all the time, right? But this is Prayana Pura Pradhana, not, not all the time. So, uh, it doesn't always mean that it is pura pradhanaha. So this might be, a, but I think here pippali should have pradhanam, right? So mainly pippali it is, and it is, it is okay, it's half, but the pradhanam should be the pippali only, shouldn't it be? What do you think? So, so can we use this other pippali in a sentence where pippali is not in sixth case? How will you do that? So. You mean you can form a karmadhara, we can form a karmadhara with it maybe? That could be possible. Maybe that could it's be... always a... like people yaha ardham, right? People yaha ardham, yes. Uh. It will be people yaha ardhena or people yaha ardhaya. That will be fixed. People yaha will be fixed. Yeah, people yaha will be fixed, right? So, so yeah. then ardham, ardhena, ardhaya, it seems like that that the ardha seems to be getting the, the vipakti. Yes, yes, I was just thinking because I couldn't put it very well with Pitta Purusha. Yeah, because it is, it is not, it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean Ardham will get Pradhanyam. I don't think we can say that, right? I don't think that we can say that this Ardham will get Pradhanyam. Um, that, that I don't think, maybe this, uh, let me think about that, you know, about the Pradhanyam question. But yeah, the Vigra Vakta will be Ardham, Pippalya will be Shashti only. Uh, uh. But how about, how about the other one now? When you take, you know, Masa Jataha, right? So now what will that be now? When you say, so masa jatena, masa jatasya, masa jataya, right? So that masa yes. jataha is qualifying the devadattaha now, right? right? Yes. So, so now, so now when we, when we, when we do that, so masa jatena, then how, how will, how will that be going to work? <laughs> okay, but I'm not sure if we can use that because as you, as soon as you use masa jatena, uh, and, and samasa being optional, uh, when you remove the samasa, you have to bring it. You know why? I think that is why it is, you know, you know what we'll have to do? Look at the Vigra Vakyam for this, by the way. In fact, a big interesting point. It is the Vigra Vakyam of this one with the Kaumadi. Let's go to Siddhanta Kaumadi for a second. See, in the Kaumadi, the way the Vigra Vakyam is given, this is Kalaha, right? So let's, let us look at the over here. See, Kalaha Parimanina, right? Look at look at the vigra vakyam which we use by the way. Is jaha so let's say masaha jatasya yasya saha he gives. Look at the vigra vakyam he gives calculation. So now we have to say that, that that makes it better. This this is now better. So when you say we say masa jate no, we have to say masaha jatasya yasya saha te no. It will not become masa na jatasya. Vigra Vakyam should be considered yeah, like this, yeah. because this is why, that's why Bhattuji gives the Vigra Vakyam. <laughs> he knows, he knows Kalpesh is going to ask him the question. <laughs> so he gives the Vigra Vakyam. It's Masaha Jatasya Yasya Saha. Yasya Saha. So this Vigra Vakyam has to be manipulated like this. 
and he says anta shabd swadhikar pasan you have to we can talk about that and adhi adhi is also special one for two is one who is skilled pandit also one who is skilled kushala also one who is uh, the word kushala also in here kushala you can add that kushala chapala in fact i can put these over here uh, okay shaunda adhi ganaha shaunda adhi ganaha shaunda adhi ganaha so nipuna so this <coughs> so let me put this on akka shaunda adhi ganaha okay shaunda okay mm -hmm. so that shaunda adhi ganaha is like this uh, shaunda dhurta kitaba yad i think one more thing we need to add over here is only the uh, according to this tatva bodhini after the shaunda dhurta kitaba yad pravina samvita antar adipatu pandita anta adipatu pandita chapala for kushala comes over here kushala we can put that one also over here kushala means all the same shades of meaning really like kind of uh, skilled uh, kind of crafty crafty or something so after pandita kushala chapala uh, nipuna and uh, nipuna that's, that's the one okay so now we have this word antar inside over here so that is what is the no adhi also is there let's highlight these two highlight this adhi is mentioned over here so this avyam antar is also mentioned over here, antar so in the book if you look at the book he has given um, a noun in the locative can can compound with the adjective shaunda pravina patu pandita kushala chapala nipuna dhurta kitaba vyada adhina this adhina will consider the word adhi which is compounding we will we'll look at and the word antar also is in the shaunda adhi ganaha so really so let's look at the so let's look at this word adhina first what is happening over there what's happening over here is that this is kaumudi adhi shabda atra adhi shabda atra patchate sorry patchate type over here so patchate the word the word adhi is listed in this ganaha this adhi shabda atra patchate then then but that what happened when the word adhi is used adyuttara padat iti khaha this is this is this 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 pratyaya kha this is a pratyaya so the this is a pratyaya but why do we need that right now because that kha pratyaya has to be used has to be used when adhi is uttara padam so this 547 this is a nitya karya this this say this pratyaya kha so adyuttara padat so this 54 let's get 54 which is not really today's topic but to form the word adhina ishvara adhina etc we have to use 547 as is you know ashadakshashita the tungavala so many of the uttara padat so we look at 547 the uh, the vyutya 547 the spelling is that among other some other words also with the word adhi is at the end the pratyaya the the tridha pratyaya has be has to be used with it so that creates the now situation that when we form this compound we have to immediately use that kha pratyaya have it there is no other choice so ashadaksha ashit ashitandu alakarma alam purusha iti etebhya and sorry these are specific compound i'm sorry so these are come 1 2 3 4 compounds and then adyuttara padat and any compound which has adhi as uttara padam then the pratyaya kha has to be used with that so those those four compounds and any compound which is adhi at the end of it so ashadaksha ashitanga ashitang ash, sorry ashitangu alankarma alam purusha iti etebhya adyutra pada accha swarthika pratyaya bhavati so this is the one that we need this we don't, we don't have these four right now we can we can remove it for time being but adyutra pada accha swarthika pratyaya bhavati swarthe so this pratyaya kash which immediately when you have adhi at the end of a um and uttar padam uttama mis samasah now what's happening is here is that uh if we'll give the compound of the figure so uh some will see adi so shaunda adi shabda shaunda shaunda dishu pachyate raja adhinah okay so let, let's form nitya chayam pratyah so this pratya is nityam how do you know it's nityam because uttaratra vibhasha grahanat the next sutram Pani brings vibhasha, so that means that atra vibhasha nasti. So adyutra padat ka pratyaha nitya. So nityam vidhiyate nitya. So now we have this 
अतिशब्दो अत्र पठ्यते अद्युत्तर पदाद इति खा प्लस फॉर्म दिस वर्ड ईश्वराधीन ओके सो फर्स्ट ईश्वर नी प्लस अधि न वर्ड इज दिस अधि इज इन द प्रादिगण हैज इट प्रादयः सो प्रादयः वाज वाज कमिंग बैक इन व्हाट 1458 राइट उपसर्गाः क्रिया योगे सो प्रादयः उपसर्गाः क्रिया योगे गतिश्च राइट इट इज नॉट क्रिया योगे अधि इज नॉट क्रिया योगे then how is in what sense adhi being used adhi is being used in the sense of karma pravachaniya ha so pravachaniya ha so from here it starts a section of karma pravachaniya ha to adhirishwara so says here uh, karma pravachaniya ha tritya telam vihitaschate pradha to ho karma pravachaniya ha karma pravachaniya ha te chandati sa yes sir from 1483 pani defines these words which are used karma pravachaniya ha now some of these are these some of this prade has a use in these meanings and which which when they don't has connection with the dhatu then right the dhatu is, is not there by the way this on the very side topic is in the bhagavad gita a very good example karma pravachaniya ha comes in chapter 16 chapter 16 i think it's the third shloka itself is that tejah kshama duti shaucha madroho nati manita bhavanti sampadam daivim abhi jatasya bharata this sampadam daivim is a dvitiya ek vachanam look at this shloka which is a list of virtues this is a guna suchi and then says that bhavanti so ete gunaha bhavanti okay these gunas occur sampadam daivim so daivim sampadam abhi jatasya bharata now daivim sampadam is dvitiya ek vachanam now how do we justify dvitiya there is nothing here clearly bhavanti is 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 the subject of that is this 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 gunaha then we only have jatasya bharata this abhi over here karma pravachaniya this abhi lakshya jatasya as the vashyakara says so daivim sampadim abhi lakshya jatasya so this abhi is sitting here without the connection with the dhatu it is so there is basically an implied dhatu over there abhi lakshya so this is in the in this sense so this also comes in So if you want to do some uh, some have some fun karma pravachaniya all those thing of gita shloka third shloka in chapter 16 bhavanti sampadam daivim abhijatasya bharata that abhi is karma pravachaniya that abhi is not connecting with the dhatu jan it's very very confusing this is very confusing because in the same adhyaya comes this this thing which says ajyo bijanavan asmi so you look at this one ajyo bijanavan asmi abhijan so here we have abhi with connected with dhatu jan so you might think that in the third shloka also abhijatasya we somebody who has aristocratic birth but then if you do it like that then what about sampadam daivim then you left hanging so this abhi is come from vachinya over here so sixth thing of shloka 16.3 now so if you look at the ashtadhyayi we can we can uh, abhi 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 so there abhirabhage see this one is giving the prati pari and anu can be used in these 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 meanings and abhi can be used in these meanings except for the bhaga meaning so lakshana so abhilaksha this one anyway this is bhagavad gita chapter number 16 um shloka third shloka abhi is being used right now we want adhi is this adhirishwara So this adhi also can be used in sense of ishwara adhir ishwara so what is that 1497 saying adhir ish in the sense of ishwara adhir in fact that ends the thing of karma pravachaniya ha so adhir ishwara so 141497 on 497 again karma pravachaniya ha are some of the pradayas can be used in this manner where the uh, you know the dhatu connection is no longer there they can be used on their own in these 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 meanings So Ishwara has Swami, such as some pekshate. So means that the Swami is owning something. Tada tada yam sw Swami sambandhe adhi karma pravachaniya sanya bhavati tatra kadachi Swami na ha karma pravachaniya bhakti hi saptami bhakti kadachi swat can say adi Brahma datte panchala ha. So these these territories the panchala depend on Brahma datta. and we can say adhi panchala shri brahmadatta ha so brahmadatta has authority over the panchala so this this so we can use saptami with brahmadatta and with panchala ha both 
but here we are going to use this one. So we can we can say that you know, so we say Ishwara Adhi, we can say Yashaha, Ishwara Adhinam Yashaha. So success depends on on the Lord. So this one we are going to use. So Adi Brahma Datte. So so these Panchalas depend on Brahma Datta. They are dependent on so Adi Brahma Datte. So now so this is saying that this Saptami Bhakti can be used Brahma Dattaha. So this sutra is saying that so first of all I am sorry. Adiri Shwari gives it the program of Vachaniya Sanya. And then what happens by two three nine, by two three nine, we can get a Saptami Bhakti with that. Two three nine. Two three nine. It says Yasma Dikam. Yes chit Ishwara Vachanam Tatra Saptami. Yes Vacha Ishwara Ishwara Vachanam. So when you look at two three nine now. 239 is going to tell us to use Saptami Bhakti. So because we want to know how can we get Saptami Bhakti with Ishwaraha. When we say Ishwara Adhinam if you want to do. So that Sutram is 239. 239 it says that So when this connection with the Kramapra Vachaniya, it says that it says Yasyacha Ishwara Vachanam iti Swa Swamino Dvayorapi Paryayana Saptami Bhakti Bhavati. So it can be the thing which is dependent can be the Swami. So here so Brahma Dattaha is the one who is kind of presiding over, ruling over the Panchalaha. So this we can be something Brahma Dattha or with Panchala issue. So here we can we, we are saying that Ishwaraha kind of is ruling over, controlling, controlling the you know success or failure of something. So Ishwara Ishwara Adhinam Yashaha. So it says so Ish so Adhi. Ishware Yashaha. Adi Brahma Dutte Panchalaha. So one more time, we got this <coughs> one four ninety-seven. We got the Sanya Karma Pochiniyaha for Adi in that meaning. Sense of Ishware. One who rules, one who dominates, one who controls controls something. And then in connection in connection with that Adi, which got the Pramach Parvach Parvachaniya Sanya, we use this Sutram two three nine to get the Saptami Bhakti, Saptami Bhakti. And now we can compound because first we want to make sure that we can get Adhi, we can get Saptami with that connection with the, the other word. Now we can use this Sutram Saptami Shaundayihi because the word Adhi is, is, is listed in that. Adhi Shabdotra Pachyate. And then, so we let with say Ishwara Ni. So this we use this 1497 to get the Karma by by Adhi Ishware. <coughs> and then we use two three nine is Yasmad Yasmad Adikam Yaschachi Ishwara Vachanam Tita Saptami. We use that. Because in fact let's go back for, for one more second or I know we're out of time right now. Because here the um just you know Karmani Diti Atiati I think Panchami because the Pai Sutram two three eight was saying Karma Pravachaniya Yukte Dityya. So the general rule when, when something is used in connection with the Karma Pravachaniya, Dhritiya has to be used. But this one says Yasma Dhritikam Yasacheshwara Vachanam Tattva Saptami. So this Adi was used as Ishware. So that is the Ishwara Vachanam. Saptami. See, if we didn't have this Sutram, we stuck with the Dhritiya from back here. This is the, this is the Uttargaha. Karma Pravachaniya Yukte Dhritiya. We want Saptami over here. So this Saptami is specific for this Ishwara Vachanam, the 239. So that's how we got the, this ni pratyaha was got by this two three nine. We got Ishwara ni of course the sutram is saptami shaundai, the saptami is prathamanadishtam, and that they get upasujana sanya, upasujanam purvam. Of course adhi is an amyayam, because you know, because adhi is nipata, right? Pragishwara nipata, paradayaha. Then swara nipatam amyayam, swara adhi nipatam amyayam. So avyada supaha. So adhi will not take any work because anyway adhi, after the because of Avyad Ap Supaha, it's already the Supluk has taken place. So we use Saptami Shaundaihi. Saptami Antam will get the Upasana Sanya, Upasana Purvam. And we get Ishwara Adhi, Supluk as usual. And we get Ishwara Adhi. The only last complication here is that the Pratyak has to be used. Adyutra Padat. Pratyak has to be used. So then what happens? The Kha gets the Eena Adeshaha. In Adesha, what, what, what Sutram 712? Always, you know, Pratyadesha. You know, my teacher always told me, don't forget the 71, which is the Pratyadesha. Today we saw one, Yuranaka, we saw today, Yuranaka. But here comes the next one, Ayaneya Eena Eeyaha, 
फर खच घाम प्रत्यय आदि नाम सो दिस आयन एन एन एंड दीज आर दथा संख्यम आदेश यथासंख्यम रिस्पेक्टिव सो प्रत्यय आदि ख दैट विल गेट दी आदेश ऑफ ऑफ ईन बिकॉज आयन एन खकार गेन आदेश ख बिकम्स ईन वेन यू सेवन वन टू ईश्वराधि ईन एंड ऑफ कोर्स ईश्वराधि गेस्ट भ संज्ञा वैची भम देन यीच बिकम ईश्वराधीन स्टॉप्यर ईश्वराधीन यश नेक्स्ट टाइम विल डू इट विद दि वर्ड अंतर ऑल्सो इन दिस शौंडादि गण and the last one we'll do is the 2145 so she finished pretty pretty this lesson easily in the next class and please do the homework i already put the homework here in the exercises It's kind of straight forward so at least we'll do the first part of the exercise next time we'll go through them we won't go through all the steps but basically you covered all the examples in the exercise we covered already there's nothing really special in the exercises all the exercises have been already discussed in the class so we'll only for practice there's nothing new next is nothing new in the exercises so the next time we will we will just one more time revise this ishwaradhi and then we'll we'll do the antar grahantar we'll do that one and we'll do 2145 so we'll in the book we'll finish up this one adhina ishwaradhi this not adhina should be adhi only the pratyakha comes after it grahantar is again is the shondadi ganaha and this one we'll do 2145 and then please do homework there's nothing special in the homework only practice already we have done let's stop here ramo rajam nistada vijayate ramam ramesham bhaje ramena vijata nishachar chamu rama tasmay namaha rama nasti parayanam parasaram ramasya daso smyaham rame chitra stada bhoto me bho rama mam dhara ram rame ti rame ti rame rame manorame sahasnam tatulyam ram nama varanane श्रीराम नाम वरा नम